the deciding match between Sedolio and Rafiro well on crossroads. Sedolio had faction selection. He's going for US forces. What do you think of that, Momo? I'm actually surprised. I thought he'd pick OKW. Yes, I'm also surprised. I mean, is there some edge on this map with US forces that I'm not aware of? I can't really think of any. I mean, versus Ost, I think you do. But if I have the pick for and I'm going to pick allies, like if I pick US, I'm going to assume the other guy's going to counter pick me with OKW. So in this matchup, I think Sedolio has an advantage um, if he plays it right. But in terms of the decision making, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. Like if he knew Referral was going to pick Ostir again. Like he knows he doesn't play OKW. I didn't. I don't know that background knowledge that maybe Sedolio has. Mm. Well, Sedolio mixing up his build here, not going for the re echelon start, just going for a straight rifle start. Refuro is still going with a double pioneer at the beginning, though. And I like how Sedolio rushed his fuel side here and wired off the cover, because. That's really a point of contention here. Good tra tank trap placement. He's definitely going to be wiring that off. Um, he, he, I guess, knew that referral is going to stick to his side. Or it could have just been lucky because usually what we see is that the Axis player plays aggressive on the ally side fuel, especially against US because you know the rear echelon can't really fight back. So if you just send like a grand... Gren over there and just send your pilot to cap your side, you can usually deny them a quick uh, officer. Yeah, well, I think I think the difference here with Referro's build is no machine gun to force retreats does kind of make it hard to go aggressive. You, you know, you kind of have to fight Grenadiers versus Riflemen, which, you know, you can win long range, but it's a pretty close fight. You can't just like come in with suppression from behind and just win the engagements easily. Right, right. And we're having an old-fashioned slugfest in the middle. We yeah, well played on Sedolio here. He max ranged his rifleman where they couldn't be targeted by these grands behind green cover when he was at the shrub here. But now he's moved up behind the house. Not really in cover, but I think he's got the right angle to where he's ignoring the grands green cover. Yeah, I believe and so. he's able to push up. Yeah, well played. He's gonna, and he, he, I guess, assumed that referral isn't was gonna stick to his same build and not build an MG because if he had one for this push, Sedolio would have to pull back because this is all open area. Yeah, also interesting, not lieutenant for Sedolio coming in, so no captain this time going on the aggressive and three rifle lieutenant suggests M20. Yeah, it does. Maybe he's adapting to what Referro did last game, which was what he's doing again this game. Very heavy tier 1, extremely slow tier 2. Lieutenant, ripe to punish this kind of build. Oh yeah. I'm curious to see if he's going to go double light vehicle. Like, he'll get the M20, then Referro will try to counter with the 222, and then he'll build the Ahab track to counter the 222. And if he's able to cut him off quick enough, then the Puma will be out way too late to... Um, give him back control but referral able to blob out his grenadiers he's got his tactical control group and he's going to disperse it across the map here and i think he's just going to go for the cutoff here yeah oh no he's he's splitting up okay so dolly actually going for 50 cal not the m20 so he's probably going to save for the aa half track i guess not a bad call yeah i i like the m20 though like yeah i think the m20 is good timing yeah, it's one of my favorite units, and it's it seems like a really good choice here. Like, four Grens. Um, I mean, Sedoli doesn't know his Muni position right now, but he can't Faust anything right now. You can get up some cheeky M6 mines, and if Referro doesn't respect the M20, he could totally eat a Puma with the, M with the M6 mine. It happens. Like, it's it's definitely worth a shot, but sedoli has got his, his um, build order, and I think he's just going to stick with it. Yeah, and, and M20 is certainly more of a risk than just saving for the half-track. 
Yeah, this is also true. Because if you get cut off at a certain point, then it messes up your timing on that A half track. So he's, he's playing it safe. LT taking a lot of damage closing in, but referral really late to switch over a second gran here. Oh, that rifle nade. It's going to get away, but a, one yeah, engagement a little off. quite handily yeah. because of it. This is delaying Sedolio's A half track. Who's in control of this fuel? 50 cal coming into play now. A little bit late though. Yeah. And remember, 50 cal did get a minor suppression nerf, which it, I think it regains it. Veterancy, points. vet 2 or something. No, vet 1. It regains it at vet 1. But not quite as good as it used to be straight away. Oh, no, yeah. Straight off the deployment, yeah. You can actually wipe the squad if a pro doesn't instant retreat. 50 cal's damage is pretty good. Yeah. Gets out of there, though. Double flamer coming in. Definitely going to be able to push out this rifleman and take it back. Can I just note, Sidolio is a bit late always making uh, sweepers on his rear echelons. Yeah, I don't know if he just forgot or he's pur purposely saving it for bars. I mean, you you did, you did definitely have to build the minesweeper because getting KO'd by a mine is like super low level mistake yeah well, it's game over at that stage yeah. most of the time for us forces yeah it's ultra gg <laughs> yeah like, that's just lights out quit the game and slash l yeah. well, he's got control of his side again finally hey half tracks just takes so long to build yeah referral building the 222 again yeah, it's almost eight minute mark as well. Yeah, I mean this one's not quite as late, but still quite late. When you commit to the one two two two, probably has to go double now to fight the AA half track. Yeah, he's he's got to be really careful. If Sedolia screens properly, then the two two twos can't really get space in with the rifle and able to snare them. He's going super aggro with the AA half track. Nice bait there into the 50 cal. He, he knew he was going to get out to try to foul oh, it, but unfortunately we he didn't get the suppression. Oh, he goes down to the lieutenant. Yeah, that's huge. Oh, but now his lieutenant's in trouble. The the enemy is overrunning one of our okay, it's going to be all right. Two fusion chasing. <laughs> Look at Sedolio's troops, though. He needs the ambulance. It's in production now. 2 2 2 going in for the flank. Drops the handbrake, so we can right-click target things. Oh, and the building so close to death gets out just before it goes down. If he just like you know just sneezes at that building, it's gonna collapse. Yeah, that was really cutting close. He's actually getting back in. Oh I think he's just God. doing it for the vision real quickly. Yeah, yeah, he hopped out right away. Yeah. <laughs> Playing with fire though. A couple auto cannon shots, and that's dead. Yeah, that's. Really paying it close there. Task complete. Crew ready. That's it. Okay, bar. Weapon item Rex coming in for Sedolio. He's got a lot of munitions, very high munitions map. His crossroads. He's going to be able to pop. Bro, using the med kit on the Grenadiers. The field first aid. Yeah. Nice. I mean, they did make it a lot cheaper recently, so... Yeah, 15 minis. Really good. If you compare it to, like, the OKW healing, it actually, you know, kind of does match up all right. Yeah, but the OKW can abuse the right-click and heal, like, all your dudes. The grand one is just one guy. Yeah, well, let's not tell people <laughs> about the abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Puma CP wise is available. Oh man, now Sedolio's in the building, which is very close to collapse. Yeah, one rifle nade and it's gonna go down. Puma's coming out now. Sedolio's got the bazookas ready though. Did he equip two? He did. He's gonna just park it on top of the half track. 
Because you can anticipate mobile defense now. Everyone picks mobile defense. Yeah. Against uh, USF. Against every, everyone, right? Yeah, I mean, it's freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. It's too much of a, a crutch, though. I think it needs to get... It needs to make other things a little bit more viable. Yeah. And then put mobile defense on the back end a little bit. Yeah. I think certainly the command tank should have been locked behind tier 3. That was just a no-brainer yeah. change. Yeah. Oh, he's charging in with the Puma. Going after the A half trap. Where are the bazookas? Oh, they're oh, too the far away. To cap off. Oh, man. Luckily for him, he misses that second shot. He might be able to get around the back here. Yeah, he does. He's going to lead him towards the bazookas. Puma doesn't go for the chase. So Dolio also smart enough to move his ambulance back. Yeah. Definitely didn't want to pay the price for it again after that first game. Yeah. Here come the bazookas now. Both connects. Nice. Repairs get interrupted there. Oh man. Oh, they keep getting into that, that building, house. man. Oh my god. <laughs> it's giving me a heart attack. Alright, a capture point is being overrun. All done over here. Well, Furrow's gonna have. Plenty of resources to auto call in that command tank as well. I think Sedolio is just about ready for major. Yeah, he just needs a bit of more manpower. Yeah, second 50 cal. I like that versus grand heavy uh, builds. It's really good because you can really stop them from counterattacking if you have to retreat your riflemen. You can stop them from taking away your resources if you play it correctly. Yep, and Refero going for a machine gun of his own now. The 50 cals, you know, are still very effective against both the Puma and the 2 2 especially with the armor piercing rounds activated. Yeah, if you're not paying attention, you can easily lose that with the snare combined on top of the armor piercing rounds. Double bazooka connects. Making a bit of a push here. Oh, what's the machine gun doing? MG42 facing the complete wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, he's finally moving it over. Nice bait into Puma, the 50 cal there. Puma coming around, around the side. The Trying to find an angle on the A half track. Unsuccessful though. Lieutenant charging in behind the machine gun. Two dudes there. You could get this Gren right here. He's gonna get close under the Thompson and the bar. Oh, the lieutenant's oh. going Oh, he gets it! They, wow. The squad even had to adjust too, and he still got it. Good pick up there for Sidolio. Oh, he could even get this other. Okay, referral retreats. Yeah. That could have been another easy wipe for him. Got control of the cutoff though. I think that's really the first effective push Sidolio's had in this match. Yeah, even snuck in a decap on the cutoff there. Although it's not really going to stop the command tank from coming out. He just needs the CP. Yeah. He'll have the manpower by then if he doesn't bleed out too much. Second re echelon coming on for Sidolio. Does this M15 get more HP at Vet 3? Because I had a game the other day where I shot the A half track with two Rakens and it survived. It took three shots to kill yeah, it. Yeah, it does. It gets plus 40 health at Vet 3. I didn't know that. That's new, right? Um, I think it was maybe two patches ago. Damn, where was I? <laughs> yeah. This has never noticed it. Extension survivability. It's actually super relevant if he keeps it alive. Yeah, they did the same thing with the 222. It gains plus 20 health of V3 as well. I think you don't notice as much as to, on the 222 because it tends to take small arms damage, so. Yeah, it's got less armor. Yeah. And plus, you know, 20 health versus 40 health. It's does make a difference when it comes to the small arms damage. Yeah, and snares.
Oh. Bazooka's in the Bazooka screen. Yep. I can rush on out for sweeping. Almost dead though. Okay, he's got it out of there. Double 50 cows pushing on the left. A lot of suppression over here. 2 2 2 going in for the flank, but he's definitely gonna have to pull back here. Two riflemen on the screening maneuver. This grind's pretty low. Puma coming back in? No. Still is pushing here, but he's not actually getting control of that fuel. Now this re on Bazooka squad there, looks like it might get forced away by the Grenadiers. If he loses that, the Puma could come back in. There it goes. And in comes the Puma. In the back of it. Auto calling on the command tank. Good flank on the first MG42. He could actually wipe this. Oh, yeah. that's definitely going to get wiped. Easy pickup as well. Okay, maybe not so easy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that flamethrower is going to work. Here comes yeah. the command tank as well. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to try to sneak in the cap. Definitely not worth it risking your antenna for that. Oh, could he lose these re echelons? No, it's not going to chase. Still Leo with the Sherman now. In production. So I think Sedolia will have the larger army by you know a decent amount of supply, but despite having the lead, you know, one bad engagement, he could still lose this game very easily. Yeah, all it takes is a miss micromanagement of his Sherman and it'll go down and there's nothing really to protect him from the command tank rather than bazookas. I mean don't get me wrong, bazookas are really good, but you he plays it right combined power. arms wise. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of map power. Yep. Replacing those dudes, especially if they get vetted up by hitting the tanks a lot, they'll be five men, and that's like 40 more manpower per squad. Get them back up to full. I think we'll see Sidorio. Nice. Oh, he's bringing the Sherman on the back of this with the re-echelon bazookas. <laughs> Major artillery, you know, it's quite slow. <laughs> Easily yeah. avoided. He doesn't get access to the fake arty until he's vetted, right? Yeah. Yeah. Vet too. yeah. Good job on referral getting the pack. I was about to say that he really needs oh, the pack to. Look at this rifle squad. Hands of four command tank. Okay, gets away. We we're playing very conservatively with that P4 command tank, not really chasing. Yeah, he's doing right to keep it really close to his core army so they benefit from that bonus. Letting him set up his MGs on his fuel so he can really afford to push up a bit more. Sherman rotates over to the other side of the map and on the back of that, Fur getting aggressive. Going after the A half track. Going in. Yep. So we all these team weapons. Zuka's coming in here. Oh, but they get suppressed. That's not good. Come on, take us there. He can get the snare off. Yeah, AT hey, grenade. Doing, doing it up. Pushing but in. Here comes a pack. Oh, he pops That's smoke. Oh, but he wasn't on prioritized oh, vehicles. He Shot at an infantry squad. And really badly for Sedolio if he gets to Faustin. Yeah. Oh, and he's gonna back right into these green ears. Nope. He changes his path. He uses the Sherman smoke to cover his escape. Close call though. Yeah, that could have gone either way. If he was paying attention on the prioritize and the attack ground, he could have gotten the command tank. Yeah. Or he could have just lost his Sherman. But it just, it just shows the fighting strength of mobile defense. Yeah, it just really 
mo provides that multiplier for us. There's already really good combined arms. You get a really good light vehicle that can um, synergize anti-tank wise. You get something that buffs all your dudes that already work together well. It's just really, really good, and we see that all the time, obviously. So we know it's good. Yeah, and it's double MG42s now for Afura. It's going to be very hard for Sedolio to avoid that suppression constantly. Yeah, this is where Oster really digs in and locks you out. Sedolio's got to come out a few different angles if he wants to get out of this lockdown. And Referral getting down some cheeky S mines on that little crevice between the bush and the broken down house. That can really be painful if you're not paying attention. And he's also using his um, counterattack tactics to decap quicker. Yeah. I think it caps quicker as well too, right? Uh, no, I think it's just neutralize. Oh, okay. It's just like briefly one. Oh no, neutral territories capture more quickly. Oh, really well played um, crossfire there for referral on that Sherman gets it down to half health. Okay, so finally, treating his bazooka super early. Yeah. He could have just brought him back out. What? Oh. Oh, man. Why did he surrender? What was that? I think he just got really frustrated. Yeah. He, he didn't lose anything. No. He just, you know, he just tried to push out from his base and just ran into... Oh! His Sherman, he, I just noticed uh, he got out on the front lines there and he retreated his vehicle oh, crew. Oh, no. He just gave away the Sherman. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You see that? or did Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I see that now. It's just out there, half health, abandoned. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, man. That's a crucial mistake. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah. Well, it makes sense now why he surrendered. Yeah. Well, he didn't um, lose anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm like what? <laughs> well, uh, anticlimactic end to the series. But uh, well, yeah, played by Refura. Mobile defense comes out on top again. Yeah.